All right, see Trey, so we're back. Just wanted to get some more scenic videos for this part one of it or part two. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do, but this is definitely gonna be a two part video. All right, so you were talking about your cheat day and how it takes you a couple of days to recover from it. Yeah, uh, I was just bring that up to say how I can imagine how if you're eating bad poorly, you know, how that can affect your motivation to go to the gym because it's like if you feel if your body feels awful when you go to the because really I guess you really feel that when you're when you work out because after if you just eat like that and never go to the gym then you probably would just accept that as a norm but mm -hmm. when you go to work out you really feel it and uh <laughs> it doesn't feel good especially for the first couple of days yeah so it's like if you like that every day I can imagine how that would affect your willingness to go your exercise. motivation and everything yeah mm -hmm. so really uh, eating healthy is and i mean it'll help you get more faster results too so mm -hmm. just a lot of benefits and i mean once you like get a taste of it of the once benefits you, once you get a taste of the benefits the, the you see the results starting to come in you'll be more motivated to go I would say like the first week or so is probably going to be the toughest for people that haven't been going uh, because you know it's like at first you don't really see anything happening you don't really feel anything but uh once that after that period i mean you'll just be hungry for more mm -hmm. okay yeah and you know um one youtuber that i follow her name is prissy p and um she usually does mukbangs, she does challenges, like food challenges and things like that. And she's doing like a 30 day challenge where every day for 30 days, she's gonna be working out, doing some type of workout, which is really, really good. Um, and it's actually very motivating because it's not like she's doing anything crazy. I mean, it might be as simple as walking down the street and back, you know? baby steps and I'm already starting to see a change in her and I think she's starting to feel a change just from her reactions you know on her videos because she vlogs about it daily which is very motivating to you know her subscribers and other people that are doing it too we're gonna turn here so um, I also think if you don't start eating right at first and you just start working out and you get into the habit of working out i think it makes you change your eating habits would you agree with that yeah especially once you start seeing results because it's like if you at first you're not eating right you might be like you might see a little something here or there and then one day it'll just click like wow i could really i could really start looking good if i start eating better mm -hmm. and that'll just like i said it'll get you hooked more at least that's how i was i remember it's like now it's like almost an obsession like i have to i have to do it so <laughs> I it's like, let's stand here for a little bit i know um i know that with you like that's why i think you're so disciplined with it because no matter where we are if we go out of town or if we've had a late night like i know we came back like seven o'clock in the morning one one time from new york and that day didn't you still work out that day yeah yeah, and so, and even, you know, being around great food that people make, if that's not your cheat day, I know that you are so disciplined that maybe you might try a little, but you're not going to go all crazy. Yeah. And yeah. I, I really respect that. I remember one time, <laughs> we all went to the Waffle House, and of course I had waffles, grits, eggs, <laughs> bacon, we all had, you know, stuff like that. And C. Trey, he had a salad with no salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets yeah. a salad at the Waffle House? I've, I've gotten that a lot. Like people, because I would go out with my friends to get a salad, and they'd be like, "This man got a salad? We're on Waffle House." And we're like, "Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's discipline." So you know, I respect that, and it's, it's inspiring to me. I know, you know, I'm really slow at it. I talk about it more than I be about it, <laughs> but um, I know that 2019 is my year, and I definitely want to make a change and 
I don't want to, I know I'll probably never be the way I used to be, but I could be the best me right now. And that's my, my target is to be the best me right now. This is my 50th year and I, I really want to make it one of my better years so I can take it for another 56. <laughs> um, so people like you are definitely, you know, inspiring to me. And also I want to give a shout out again to Prissy P, you know, for, um, being so authentic and transparent with her journey. You know, I know that she has a lot of challenges or had a lot of challenges with trolls and stuff on Facebook, I mean on um, YouTube that would say things about her, the way that she eats, the way that she looks, you know, just a lot of judgment. And, you know, she, in spite of it all, she just continues to push through. She knows her true self. And um, she's inspiring a lot of people out there in the YouTube world, and I'm one of them. So I want to give a shout out to her and thank her for that. But I enjoyed our walk. We're almost at the end. Um, do you have anything else that you want to say that could be helpful to people in terms of getting started, sticking with it, eating, exercise, anything like that? I mean, um, <laughs> I would say just stick to the plan, you know? Just stay focused on what you want. Um, know, know what you want to get and work towards it, just one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew. And yeah, it's important to be resilient, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate it. And for all those of you that want to know, what does C. Trey stand for? It stands for Clarence the Third. And everyone was going with the tray and you know we didn't want to be common <laughs> so we put the C in front of it so there we go C tray and I think he's the only C tray I've ever met have you ever met any other C trays I have not. <laughs> so he's one of a kind and he is all mine so thank you guys for tuning in and I look forward to sharing more great videos with you with my son my daughters and maybe maybe one day even my husband but until next time stay safe